Hi, I'm Preston DeGuise. In this video, I'll show you how to perform a high-speed virtual machine recovery using change block tracking. A change block tracking restore only recovers data for the blocks that have changed in the virtual machine since the selected backup. Now, this is a great way of quickly getting a virtual machine back if it has somehow become corrupted or damaged. In this case, I'll delete some critical files on a Linux VM as an example. If you've used Unix platforms, you'll know that deleting dev and the base bin directory is a pretty bad idea. Oops. So, I'd better go and power off the virtual machine so that I can perform a CBT recovery of it and get it back before anyone notices. With the VM powered off, I'll go to the Avamar Asset Management tab select the vCenter server it came from, then select the virtual machine test 06 for recovery. Usually for a CBT restore, you'll want the most recent backup, so I'll leave that selected and click next. For a CBT recovery, I'll select all disks for the virtual machine and click next. Here I'll select to restore back to the original virtual machine, overwriting it. That means CBT will be used to speed up the recovery. Since I want to get the VM operational as quick as possible when the restore is done, I'll get Avamar to power on the VM after it finishes. Now I've completed configuring the recovery, I can get the VM back by clicking finish to start the process. When the restore starts, I'll get an option to jump across to the activity monitor to watch it in progress. Since this is a lab server, I'll speed up the recovery process for the video. By clicking the checkbox for the recovery session, I can see extended logging details on the right hand pane of the activity monitor. Now you won't necessarily always want to show this extra information, but it's handy to know that you can get Avamar to display it in case you ever need it. With the recovery complete, I can jump across to vCenter and confirm the virtual machine has been powered on. Once I know it's up and running, I can then log back into it and confirm that my files have been successfully restored. My terminal session hasn't updated, but by hitting enter you'll see that I have been disconnected from the VM. I'll log back onto it and confirm that the files are back. And that's a CBT recovery in Avamar. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the blog for more details.